Hi there, this is Anne Castro, creator of The Bird School. Many of you have seen cute video clips like this one of Mr. Darcy, one of my adopted green wing macaws. Well, today I want to show you the way he was kept in his previous home before he was adopted by me. As you can see, this video is really grainy. That's because the corner of the room where they were keeping Mr. Darcy in was so terribly dark. I tried to lighten up the video a little bit technically, but it was just too dark to do much with it. But it gives you a pretty good indication of how dark the corner was where, where he had to live his life. And this cage you're seeing, that's not a traveling cage or a carrier. That is the cage that he actually had to live his life in. It was constructed of two shopping carts that were welded together, so it didn't have any doors. He was never left out of this cage. His life consisted of this tiny cage, one perch, no toys, no water bowl. What you see here is the owner giving Mr. Darcy water with a watering can, which apparently she did whenever she thought of it. So he did not have free access to water, but had to rely on her remembering to give him water with a watering can. In terms of the food bowl, because the cage didn't open, of course, the food bowl could never be exchanged or properly cleaned. What they did was to thread a tablespoon through the cage bars, flick out the old food with that spoon and then dump fresh food on top. And that was his food. Of course, you can imagine that his whole cage was rather filthy because it could never be properly cleaned. I'm sure you can hear from my voice how upset this is still making me years later. The problem is that this is no exception. Very many parrots are still kept this way. And that's why it is so very, very important to adopt. Don't shop. Because whenever you adopt, you enable a bird to get out of conditions like this and find a new loving and trusting home with wonderful owners who give the bird light and space and love and care and toys and, and vet treatments and everything that such wonderful animals really should have. So if you want to show your true love of animals, don't buy a baby. Adopt an older bird. Please do it. Thank you.